Hello, welcome to uh, The Witcher 2. Uh, chapter 1 still still pretty early on in a chapter um, and yeah welcome to another sort of gameplay video where I just uh, mostly mess about and screw up that's the kind of thing I do uh, I do best and I also like to light up torches, in case you didn't need this. Sadly I was hoping for a bit more dialogue from them, but... I guess they are very, they are very limited dialogue. Yes, it's a little bridge. You can cross it, Geralt. You can cross it. Am I always going to be new boy? No, just till a new new boy joins us. And what will my nick be then? Just a boy, I suppose. So what missions have we got going on? Mystic River. Not sure that's the one I actually end up doing. I like this area at night. Except at the end of the chapter, actually. I don't remember what I was looking for there. Hmm. Well, maybe I was just looking for the torch. So I could uh, put it off and light it up. Uh. Oh, the inn! On, nearly got him. Just don't start any brawls. Peace and quiet. Get it? Of course. I've got my eye on you. I've got my eye on you. I believe this was the first shop. Uh, was it? I don't know if shop before. But anyway, I sped up this bit. Yeah, because I had a uh, few things to sell. Uh, 215 out of 250 weight, so. I had to get rid of some stuff and uh, some junk which I had collected. Which I had gathered. Yes, gathered. Good word. Steam notifications. Nobody cares. I should use oils, really. And I would absolutely be forced to if I um, if I was uh, playing on other difficulties. But still, I should uh, play with them a little bit too. Because uh, even on the Witcher 1, uh, I didn't really need them, but I still played with them a little. Might as well experience as much as the game is, uh, as possible. Even though it's just a drag for the most part if you don't need it, you know. Why bother putting oil and creating creating it um, if you don't actually need it? It just slows down the gameplay. However, uh, I should really play with it. And some uh, equipment changing because I did notice I had some stuff in the uh, backpack that was better than what I was actually wearing. And since we had uh, a big monster now in the village, uh, or uh, close to the village, then I might as well put uh, some better gear on. How's it living with Roach's soldiers? Splendid. 
I know every shit joke that anyone's ever thought up. Shorty's <laughs> told me about his 16 children. Um, nice to know that you care, though. Glad to see you in a good mood. I think I actually like them. They're good people. One of them even proposed to me. Who's the brave man? <laughs> Sorry, that's a secret. And here I thought Roach's boys had an ounce of respect for me. Yeah, right. The water, they didn't propose to her, she's just kidding. Good to see you, Zoltan. To get even more of your attention. Let that dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenring, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a devote. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Farewell to your daughter, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrings. I'm a plain merchant, <laughs> and I've made my peace with that. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarf in pastime. We ought to try it sometime. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you anytime. No, even. <laughs> Show me those bubbles. That was a mistake. Then. From Geralt. You see, this is the bit that really annoyed me. Is I didn't know uh, how to control it. So I was just clicking. And instead of moving the uh, mouse. So obviously, I lost. And uh, and I think I did it again later on, and then I eventually found out how to do it. Uh, and I did actually win once or twice, not even knowing what I was supposed to be doing. Because at one point I started to slide the mouse with the bar, but still clicking, I was still clicking like mad. Thinking that uh, that actually made a difference. Uh, whatever. I think the game does a, a good job at explaining it either. Spends her days staring at it, a regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere. Or any job at explaining it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament to those sorceresses, I'm telling you. Ah, oh, it talks a lot at the underline. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, Bessa. What happened to Foltus? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This will stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword. Why the hell am I getting in this corridor? The killer's in the forest with the square town, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Foltest's assassination, <sighs> you gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would see. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watched and laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demophen's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the elves, another the milk guardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, though. 
but the mob comes up with even better ones. You know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Guards singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Hensel and his great army are nearing the Pontar and will board it and strike any day. Wow, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Edernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I'm having flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. What was that? Okay, so we go get some missions. Yay! Exciting. I think the once you uh, well, apart from what from us, from what I've seen, once you get all the missions, well, non your missions get added to the board, so you can just pick up all the missions. At least on this chapter it was like that anyway, just pick them all up and I never saw missions that again. I'm surprised I didn't actually speed this uh, bit up because uh, I was reading the, the missions. Just to give me a vague idea of what the hell they're on about. Even though I never really remember anything out of them. To be entirely honest. Missions, missions, missions. Ouch. Keep pressing the damn thing. So we've got Troll Trouble, the Necker Contract, and the Endriga Contract. The Endriga Contract is quite annoying. The Necker Contract was only annoying because I didn't understand what the hell I was supposed to do to have... I mean, I knew what I was supposed to do, I just didn't know how to get it. And the Troll one is fairly straightforward, I suppose. Uh, 
And uh, I think I have to take a break here other just to get some food or something. Possibly. So uh, I cut it and come back. And talking about food, uh, it's something that I actually need now as well. Let's get the heck out of here. Go through the wall, I mean go through a door, only to get to another door. Pretty sure I'm missing the obvious there, I can't see the reason. Or we understand the design or like the design. I mean I kinda understand sort of, but I don't like it. Got uh, missions, missions, missions. Which missions do you go for? I think I got to. I think I just the troll one, didn't I? Must do. Just, just click that one. Like, why so much choosing? There you go. That's 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 all I had to do. That just. just Take care of yourself. Just click that one. Yeah, don't worry, I'll, I'll take care. This lonely guy here with a torch. Sword. Shit, you stink. We got ourselves a little scorpion spider, or two of them. Poisoning little buggers. Out for me. That's part of the Andrew uh, contract, which is quite annoying. Not sure I needed any of these herbs, but pick up stuff every every now and then. Uh, need to look at those items later. Here's somebody in trouble. Thank 
you, master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem, then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass. Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. So, yep, troll mission. So I get to go all the way back into town, speak with the village chief, uh, try to get a better price out of him because he's being a tight ass, and then return here. So, what I did was cut those bits and cut back here and go and fight the no. troll where I screwed up no quite passage. heavily. Give vodka you passage. Because my controls are terrible, so I click on the wrong thing. Why should I pay you? My bridge? This is a pile of rubble, not a bridge. You're getting nothing from me. Ah, from me? You get in mug. Yay, I don't wanna be in mug. So it was fine, I'm running back, so that's the kind of control you should have, except that I should put the, to the side and dodge. But then from here on, I just I can't keep the mouse in a proper position to dodge or to see the enemy. So I'm just running in front of me, but I don't see what's happening behind me, which is what I should be looking at. And here I... <laughs> it's behind me, not there. So I was like, what the hell? And here I can't dodge the one in time, because I dodged the one to the side. And keep getting hit. I was like, what the hell is going on? It's not even that hard. All I have to do is just hit him like I did there. It, it, it's all I had to do. It will stop him from attacking. But no, I had to make it harder to, uh, for myself because why not? Then I kind of took a breather and uh, kind of finally started getting things uh, things right, getting control of things again, which is just uh, just being silly, really. Enough! Don't hit! I be good. Yeah, you better be. You're drunk. Vodka good. Head hurt, I. But no pain <laughs> in brain. Brain pain always comes with a reason. They kill my woman. She good. She cooked meat. Who killed her? Yeah, that's Don't that's know. a good woman. Me sit on bridge. Go home. No meat smell. Woman dead. That's trouble. But no head. Got to That's drink. definitely not good. In can't go. People that kill. But. Got to drink. If I find your woman's murderers, will you put aside the booze? You know find none. We'll see. I've got friends here. I'll talk to them. Got to 
So yeah, this is the annoying bit where uh, first I didn't realize what I needed. Um, I knew I needed a bomb, but the, the bombs I had wasn't really ex explosive, so I couldn't use those. So I need to get a, a specific bomb, and I don't know where I missed that in the first place, because I had to come here to get that, to get a message about S morph and, and go pick it up. You can accidentally pick it up from there, or especially if you already know, if you play the game, then fine. But I'm pretty sure there must have been a hint before I got to this point about it. But, I don't know, I ended up going to gather materials all over the place and then I could build the bomb, which I don't even remember what the name was, uh, to get it. To, to get it, I mean to blow the uh, thing is up. Cedric, I need some osmurk. It's a rare variety of moss, grows underground. I know it. There are some caves to the south, deep in the woods. If osmurk grows anywhere in the area, it will be there. And there we go with the recipe for uh, Osmark, not recipe, but know where to find the Osmark. So... Um, on my way there I'll find the ingredients for that bomb, uh, to put the bomb together. Um, I, 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 I don't know, I'm pretty sure I missed something in the beginning. Or was it here that I found out? I can't remember. It's, it's a grape shot that I needed, I believe. Yeah, that's the one that explodes. So, I, I, I honestly, I don't know. And it actually says there, Endriga, Embryo Thing. So that, because that's the things that you get while doing that mission. So I got some already. Oh god, I need to shut this cord. Otherwise, it's never gonna get done. Now we'll make a few bombies, and then we can go and do both missions at the same time, as well as getting, I think, oh, yeah, I'm getting the the, the Osmorph for the main mission. Uh, we go hunting. <laughs> I also go through a lot of traps, I think, in this area. I'm not sure if it's here or, or later. <laughs> There's one. It may, 
Yeah, there we go, yeah, it's here. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm, I'm looking like further ahead in, in, the, in the screen, to, like top of the screen sort of thing. So I'm not actually paying attention to where the hell I'm uh, stepping on. Very two blood and thingies. We've got our. Uh, got a bomb, our grapefruit, special grapefruit, <laughs> and let's get away from it, I don't think we need to go anywhere near that far, but yeah, I think it's one of them I go even further. And uh, we go after the NECA contract, now that uh, we know that we can do it. Now that we've got some bombs, some grenades. Yeah, yeah, right. What am I defending against? The problem was, uh, where exactly do I go to find them? Because I, I don't remember where... <laughs> I don't remember where they swap, so that's also true. <laughs> oh, I swear to God. But I was actually getting pissed off when I was playing. I was <laughs> not raging, but close. Um, so, yeah, finding the bloody thing is where the necklace were. Because I, I think at this stage I already gone through some of them. It's, uh, parts that I cut off, because I didn't know how to blow them up. But I still went around finding them <laughs> and killing. Uh, the neck is so I think the one that we just uh, went past actually had a few because I had not gone to it yet there's gonna be uh, this one or two later that uh, pretty much uh, no one's spawning that anymore because it already been killed in the meantime we'll kill these uh, Ndragas or whatever because it's also one of the missions that we're doing And we forget to dodge, or we fail to dodge, and get wrecked. So again, which way to go? And there's another spider thing is there. Uh, you definitely look quite mean, don't they? But at least I'm using the right sword these days. I think that's the first one that I really noticed and then actually understand what it is. And I run away thinking that something is gonna jump out. But no. Looking for them thing is really frustrating. Because one of the things that I always struggle with is I don't remember which parts I've gone by on games. Especially when it's like this forest and that. Even though there are sort of clear landmarks, I just ignore them. and It's easy to run around and to actually use my brain to remember something, uh, I suppose. So this is one that I already killed all the neckers. So there's you know there's no one spawning. So I just gotta sweat away and blow it. And 
And this one wasn't actually too too bad. The next one to remember the eggs. There's got a couple spawning here. And then we can blow that one up. Because uh, everyone else I believe is dead. Uh, there's another one. I hate when they get hit and then go on the ground and then come back, just delaying everything. Yeah, looking for the laying eggs or whatever they're called. Yeah. Finding an egg. We got some rain, baby. We got some daylight, finally. Well, it comes with rain. And it just feels good, I don't know why. Maybe because it's raining outside as well. But it looks, um, it looks quite nice. Um, I'm not sure why I'm coming up here. I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to be here. But it seemed like a good idea at the time. And um, also when I was editing, I guess it seemed a good idea not to cut this bit out. Because I'm pretty sure there's no reason for me to be here. There's no point of me being here. Not even if I collect any herbs around here. Can't even kill the pigeon, or whatever I'm thinking that is. <laughs> it is a beautiful place, yes, yes, it is. Get out now, get the hell out. Because you're wasting everybody's time. Seeing women turn to statues isn't gonna get me views. No wait, who cares about views? Oh, look at them lovers. Turn to stone. Surrounded by roses. Oh, cute. It brings a tear to my eye. Not really. Oh, wait, maybe we do get some materials. There we go, a very productive trip. Got some blue yellow flowers there as well. Blue yellow flowers? I mean, nice yellow flowers. Blue and yellow. Nice black and yellow. Nobody cares. I kind of knew there's something going on here, which we do come back here later in the story, but I guess it's just it's not time there when I first got up there. But you know, it doesn't tell you that, and obviously I like exploring, because that's always been one of my downsides in games in the past. So over the past few years I've probably explored too much, uh, end up going to places that there's nothing there for me to collect, there's nothing hiding, there's no secret chest or anything. But when I don't do it, I miss things, so... Uh, if I see something, I'll just try and go there. Then I end up missing the places that I actually should go. This is really nice place. Looks really nice. Oh, we got some neckers here. We got some neckers on this neck of the woods, baby. Uh -huh. See what I did there? Yeah. 
Shut up, donate. I should probably get some food. It seems that my brain is lacking uh, nutrition. Well, let's blow that one. Is that the last one, finally? Those missions are so much longer than they should be. Okay, so that's, that is indeed the last one. I got to the Endruga contract, which is an absolute pain in the neck. And I don't believe we finished the troll mission here. I think it's uh, probably going to be the next video. Because this was um, this video and the next, and maybe the one after that, who knows, uh, were from a session, uh, six hour, over six hour session of gameplay. Which I was not feeling very comfortable uh, at the end of um, getting too old for that. But I was enjoying it, if I wasn't enjoying it, I'd stop. In fact, I think I did stop. I think I, I stopped to play uh, another game for about half an hour or something. Or maybe less than that, actually, 20 minutes. Me and the traps, man, me and the traps. And there's a, there's a necker that uh, seems a bit lost. That's uh, helped the miserable git on his merry way to, you know, to hell, possibly. Maybe they came from hell, they don't go back to hell, do they? Why would they go back to, you know? And there's a red-headed <laughs> coming towards us. Not the kind of red-head that I'd like. But there's a red-head headed towards small boys. Oh, what the hell am I talking about? Anywho, this is the annoying part. And I believe I did uh, quite some cutting here. I was literally running around the map. Running around everywhere trying to find these things which I somehow <laughs> missed time and time again or I, I don't know, just, I really don't get it. And of course getting hit by traps. Or getting stuck in traps. But. So I'm like, you know, spotting this little entry here, yeah, yeah there's something here. But but no, there's just nothing here. So, uh, strange. I don't know if at this time I knew exactly what I was looking for for the entry of the quest because it's possible that I didn't. Yeah, because I, I don't think I had fought the first one yet, the first proper one. So I was just like going around, uh, I'm looking blind effectively because I didn't know what I was looking for. I had an idea of the one that I had earlier. Like it would be something like that. But I, would be, I didn't feel sure at this stage I, uh, I knew what I was looking for. So I had to cut there quite uh, a lot. And go back to where uh, I actually know what I'm looking for. For sure. That is one of these thingies. But even then... I'm like, no, this not. This is when I find out. Yeah, so I open it. I'm like, I open the other one. I'm like, yeah, what, what are these things? Because I had already uh, killed one or two at this stage, like the one that we're looking at the beginning of this scene. And uh, this is where I get to fight. I think when I get to fight the spy, they will soon find out. Because I, I didn't really know that was killing those things that would trigger the quest, because I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, I'm here like mm, ready, looking around like the, uh, something, something is gonna happen. Yeah. Which is cool, because then I finally knew what I was looking for to finish the damn quest. So, happy days. Yeah, even my stomach is telling me I missed it. 
Okay, okay, we're nearly there. Ten minutes and we're done. And there she is, the absolute beautiful spider. This one no longer looks like a, a freaking crossbreed between a spider and a a scorpion. It's just a, a spider, as far as I'm concerned. The slightly maybe overly inflated uh, belly, death belly, I don't know, back, yeah, whatever. And no surprise, uh, me being such uh, a good player with my awesome keyboard and mouse, I was struggling. So, when you do, when you're struggling, you run away. Because, I mean, the thing is, I, I don't even need potions for this. If I was just playing properly. Or if I knew how to play properly. If I knew what the hell I was doing, then yes. But since I didn't, we do it old school way, which is eat and run, baby, eat and run. I get freaking poisoned again. Which there is uh, freaking potions for that. I'm taking so much damage, surprisingly. Because I'm not dodging! Hit and dodge will be absolutely perfect! And fire. So the thing is, does it come back with full health or something? There, I was thinking, mm, is she stuck? I'm assuming it's a she. And then I realized that there was something else going on. There was a NECA <laughs> joining the party, which helped me to deliver the final blows. Well, I got a dodge there, look at that. I don't know why I'm running away because I've got full health and she's nearly dead. Or oh, it, nearly dead. Who cares? And that's what happens, you get a poison bath. And I run away again, I don't know why the hell I'm running away. I think the spider is on drugs as well, I think the, 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 I think it poisoned itself. By the way, it should be heavy. Uh, I suppose regarding the eggs, but the eggs are already destroyed. Or the embryos, you know, whatever you call it. And there we go, you're dead! Cool. So... Now we know what we're looking for. Now we know what we need to do. To finish the Yendrugas quest. And... And there was me like, what the fuck? There's no items for me! Which was ridiculous. So they, they should drop something. Like, literally. So, we're going to speed 2 here, as you notice my awesome editing, uh, because, because, uh, why was it? Oh yeah, because I was running around a lot, as you see here, and not actually reaching anywhere, because I was looking for them uh, egg thingies, and I couldn't see them anywhere, and it was frustrating, really, really frustrating. So, let's go and... Uh, Steal from the dead. The dead don't need no coins. The dead don't need anything. Therefore, everything anyone could possibly need. Peace and rest. So, yeah, run, 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 na, 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 na. and then I finally entered an area. Oh, well, look, there's, there's something there that I need to open. That looks very familiar. So I shall probably open it, rather than try to stab it or slice it. Or is it glitched? Wonder how many no, there you go.
It's already Ned. Dead. Ned? Dead. Ned's dead? It's a Ned dead. And there we go. We killed those computers as well. The problem is, yeah? We didn't trigger one yet, so that means we must be missing another sack of eggs somewhere. Which I don't even know if I actually get it in this video. Interesting. I'm not sure I can see. There's some edited parts coming up, so maybe. There's this bugger, my dead. My ugly face over there. Place of power, baby. And it is literally power, actually. So, uh, we've got nothing to fight, but we're buffing ourselves. Just, just in case. Just in case the last fight that we're looking for drops from the sky. Right now the problems are on the ground. Clearly. Crows, pigeons, whatever. No, there's nothing to collect from his dead body. Or an empty caravan. something on that one at least so we're gonna get into speed 2 as we try to find the goddamn place and there we are to pause to do I don't know what Why was I looking at here though? So I'm trying to remember which which area I had been and which one I came from. Good luck with that. And uh, back to this area again. Been here several times. Go up there, end up back at the same place. And I even look at the map trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. And there we find one! Yay! And there we go, the bloody thing is spawning. That's the bloody one I was missing. Which I didn't see when I did this one. That would have been so much easier. And I'm running away from the damn thing. Because why not? And then I, I almost dodged the poison. And then I don't know what the hell I do that I just end up poison. So what are we trying to do here? Hit and running? Or, uh, or just run like last time? Actually, dodge another one again. Imagine that. So I'm actually playing properly against this one. I must have focused. Should have dodged that one. Only I couldn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn. Get hit hard. And there, I thought she was dead! I was like, why well, not? She didn't die! <laughs> but now she's dead. And this was... This, uh, this was the last one of the quest. I didn't get anything from any of the others. Uh, but again, I tried to see if the enemies 
when they disappear, if anything drops. And it's really annoying that you have to wait for that, though. Like, you should be able just to search the body. You shouldn't need to wait for the body to disappear to to find what, uh, what you can steal from the body. That's, I, I think that's one of the small things that the Witcher got wrong. Kill the one as well, and you actually get to level up, and then we go back to actually pick up some goodies, some mutagens or a mutagen. I don't even remember. Which is cool. But we should have been able to take that after death. Well, that's how sometimes I miss uh, things from um, from bodies because you just run away or you forget about them or you're walking around, and then you get the wrong body when you're searching through things, and then you miss something. But anyway, this is it for now. We'll have another part coming out uh, soon, I hope. Thank you all for watching and see you on the next one.